Previously on Hardy Boys. If you found what was in the idol, you held a piece of it. They called it the eye. Because with it, you could see what you needed to achieve all your desires. That's what was hidden inside the idol. There's another one just like that here in town. Gloria wants you to retrieve it by any means necessary. Nigel, I feel rather lightheaded. <sighs> Something is happening. Our piece of the eye is no longer safe with you, and you're no longer safe with it. I know where it is. I think we have a problem. What kind of problem? The eye is gone. I think there's something weird about that new girl, Stacy. What's up with you? Why are you so stuck on that girl? Or maybe it's the fact that Frank's stuck on her, and that's what's really bothering you. The music box? She said that there was more than one secret inside. Maybe this is one she didn't solve. secrets look like this is pretty much it Joe some of this stuff should be in a museum what's this map I think I've seen it before it looks like a map of Bridgeport before it was Bridgeport I don't know what these lines are though probably something weird circle of the eye stuff This doesn't feel like a secret society supply closet. It feels more like a collection. Of what? Curiosities, Joe. Trinkets, oddities. Weird old guy stuff. Something in this room was important enough to hide behind a secret door rigged to collapse if somebody tried to break in. Mom never made it this far. What? I mean, with everything she learned about the family and the circle, she never made it in this room. So, where do we start? What are we looking for? We came in here for answers, and I think we just found more questions. Grandma said she's been inside this room, I guess just not since George passed. And the spare key being hidden in the music box? Wait. Grandma never had the music box. It was Mom's. Great-grandpa gave Mom the key. Grandma never had it. Okay. Anyway, we shouldn't be solving this here. We need to move. Okay. What do you want me to do? Look around. Look at different stuff. If you find anything that can help us, take it. There's other maps. They have the same lines on them. Frank. Check this out. What's that? It's a notebook. Look familiar? Wait, that's the eye. It's got to be. Last night, I tried to see the end. The end of everything. What the eye showed me, I could not understand. I wonder if Sergei or Ahmed have done this. But I'm afraid to ask. That's George's journal. Everything we need to know about the eye has to be in there. Take it. Place screams. I went nuts when I found the eye. It's kind of cool. When do we tell Grandma about this? I don't think we do.
time to do my homework. Elizabeth Hooper, you lying thief. Hello to you, too. I know you took the eye. The what? The eye. It's what my lucky charm is really called. And guess what? It really is magic. So you better give it back. I don't know what you're talking about. Stefan took me and Frank to the movie theater where it was hidden. And it wasn't there. You're the only person besides us who knew where it was. Therefore, Elizabeth Hooper, lying thief. Okay. Fine. I may have... I knew it! Dude. Public space. Yeah, right, got that. I did take the eye, but it was only to protect you. What? Phil told me JB kidnapped you. I thought he was gonna torture you to give it to him. No, you just forced me to visit my grandma. Plus, you said you didn't feel safe knowing where it was. So I figured, now you don't. Oh, well, thanks, I guess. Welcome, I guess. I can tell you where I hid it if you No, know. as long as it's safe. It's safe. I just gotta figure out what to do next. You're not gonna tell Frank? Honestly, I don't know. There's tons of explanations for that. Like what? Okay, you said she's living with her aunt and uncle, right? Yeah. Maybe she just had a hard time at home when she's acting up. Have you ever treated your parents like hired help? No, no but she could just be going through something. Like, she can't get into the prep school she wants to get into, or her mom died, or her family's farm's in trouble. What I'm saying is, everybody has stress, and just because they have it doesn't mean it's suspicious. If Stacy's so stressed out, why is she flirting with Frank all the time? <laughs> I guess everyone's different. Yeah, that's one way of describing her. I got her phone number. How would you do that? She's doing a project with Amanda. I want you to call her house and pretend to be doing some market research and ask her aunt and uncle some questions and maybe then we can catch her in a lie. <laughs> sure, just boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Hello. Yes, this is Brett Borton of Market Questions. I was wondering if you could tell me, how many people in your household are weird, flirty liars? Oh, all of them? You were right, it worked. Never mind, I'll do it myself. Knock yourself out. I'm out of here. Bridgeport Library. May I speak to the homeowner, please? No. Oh, okay. Well, have a nice evening. With the eye in three pieces, we can only use it when we agree. When our motivations are aligned and we can see all the consequences of our actions. Grandma told us all of this. I am glad to be free of the temptation to use it, but I still find myself wanting to. Just to look. I feel blind without it, and I want to be the only person who sees. The eye is dangerous, Frank. We're all better off if it never gets put back together. It's not just that. Ahmed tells me that he's been speaking to his brother. The brother that was swept away by a flood when he was a child. He doesn't know if the eye is showing him an illusion or what lies beyond, and he doesn't care as long as he can see what he wants. I wish Dad was here. Yeah, yeah, me too.
right. Show me red nine. <laughs> Black eight. Red seven. I get for you, Mr. Hardy? A jacket? Toasted or plain? <laughs> I think I forgot mine here yesterday. <gasps> I hung it up over there. <laughs> That's a nice jacket. Thanks. JB, I thought you were arrested. Why don't you just whisper that as loud as you possibly can? How'd you get out? Very clever, Joe. You stole that from Miss Con. How did you know that? Very clever. Ha! <laughs> Cute. Turns out there's two of these things. Try three. Three. Okay. The fact that you just know everything all the time is starting to get a little bit unnerving. I really gotta go. No, no. Talk to me for a second, okay? Because, because uh, I need to know what this is. It's basically magic, right? I don't know. You think so? Well, at least we're winning games of solitaire. What else can I do? When teddy bears? Joe, I'm being serious. How am I supposed to know? I just know that everyone wants it. Okay, well, the way I see it, this thing on its own can conjure up some pretty neat tricks, but I figure if you get the rest of the pieces, you put them together, you could do a whole lot more. I really don't think you want to do that. I don't want to do that. Of course I want to do that. Buddy, this could be my meal ticket here. No, really. I don't think anyone's ever done anything good with it. Look, Joey, I, I appreciate it, man. I do, but honestly, for the first time in my life, I could use a bit of power. Do you know where the second one is? Someone took it. Some, some, who? I'm gonna be late for school. Be careful. What am I not? Callie, hi. Hey, why did you call me last night? What? No, I, it wasn't me. I, I, I don't even have your phone number. Oh, well, that's weird, because my study partner, Amanda, she said that she gave it to you, you know, after you asked her for it. Yeah, yeah, that, that was me. I did call you. I was calling because I wanted to apologize for being weird to you. And then you answered the phone and I totally chickened out. I know, so stupid. No, 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 that's really sweet, actually. Look, I'm so nervous about being the new girl. I I've probably been super weird, too. You know, at first I was actually kind of worried that maybe you were jealous of all the time I was spending with Frank. But that would be weird, right? Because you're already seeing someone. <laughs> uh, anyway, I gotta go. Catch you later. Frank, hey. Hey. How's it going? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in class. Yeah. <laughs> this is Biff and Jesse. We're out catching bad guys or being bad. Just kidding. So please leave a message. Hey, it's me. I haven't heard from you, Jesse, so I'm just calling to make sure you're okay. And I'm sorry about yesterday. There are things I wanted to tell you, but everything's just so complicated. Call me. I drew your name. We're partners. Oh, <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking. Maybe we're both lucky. Uh, what's the assignment about? I, I kind of wasn't listening. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> it is something to do with uh, anti-fluvial moraines. Right. Mm. Those are like my favorite moraines. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I just been a bit preoccupied. Girl trouble? Um, no. No. So then what is it? Whatever it is, it's got to be more interesting than this assignment, right? That it's juicy. It's kind of just giving me a huge headache. Does this ever happen to you? To get the answers you need, you have to trust the people that you know you can't trust. Oh, intrigue. <laughs> I'll tell you my motto. Never trust anyone. That's kind of harsh. <laughs> I call it realistic. I come from a messed up family. They lied to me, like, all the time. So, I learned the hard way. Right. So what answers are you looking for? <laughs> okay, I get it. It's none of my business. You know, sometimes telling a friend can help you see the whole picture. Uh, it's a family thing. Ah, uh, that's the worst. Uh, so is it your dad? No, he's, he's great. So then it's your family here. There are no secrets like small town secrets. I really just... Want to help? <coughs> Sorry. Thanks, Stacy, but I, th I think I should figure this one out on my own. See you on the flip side. Callie? About Stacy. Maybe you're not crazy. What was it you said about her family again? Come with me. I don't suppose you can read lips, can you? Was it one of my electives? <laughs> What's going on with you and Chet? What? I don't know. It just seems like there's tension. No. I mean, maybe there's a bit of tension. Maybe? Everything's changing. Like what? Like, I don't know. I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, just let me know if you do. Yeah, thanks. Okay, here we go. What are they doing? She just hit her uncle. What? Look. Do you see? It's pretty gutsy considering they both have guns. Okay, maybe she's a cop. Like, undercover or something. Stacy's definitely not a cop. What is she? I don't know. I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this. Literally nothing surprises me anymore. We need to go to the police about this. No, no, no. We can't tell them anything until we know exactly what Stacy's up to. You really think that's the best idea? Yeah. So I guess you're right about Stacy. You gonna say I told you so? Not as long as you promise to never doubt me again, Frank Hardy. Okay, I promise. <laughs> Got a whole bag of salt and vinegar chips? You're trying to punish your tongue? I'm a renegade. You can help me if you want. Okay. Thought you and Jesse had plans. So did I. Did she forget? Don't think so. I think she's mad. About what? Don't know, really. I mean, you must have some idea. I think she's mad because she knows I'm hiding something from her. Like your chip self-torture?
You're lying to her for me and Joe. That's why she's mad. Sorry, Aunt Trudy. Don't be sorry. I'm making a choice. Relationships are complicated. Yeah. Speaking of relationships, how are things going with you? <clears throat> yeah. Been pretty busy. Oh, yeah, a little busy? Mm-hmm. Is this weird to talk to me about? Yep, yeah, it is, but that's not your fault. So. Oh, thank you, thank you. Glad it's not my fault. Do you want advice? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, um, <clears throat> be upfront and honest. Right. Which is exactly what I'm not doing, so right. what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds complicated. Things usually are. Okay, get these away from me. Thank you. So we took Frank's aunt's car to get there. And when we looked through the window, her aunt and uncle had guns. Guns? Mm-hmm. So this is serious? Yeah. Yeah, but... Frank thinks we should wait to see what Stacy's up to first before we go to the cops. Who's we? You, me, Frank, and Joe, and Phil, I guess. Why are you asking me like that? I don't know. I was, thought it was just you and Frank. It was your stakeout yesterday. Okay, this jealousy thing isn't cute anymore. No, it's not. What's going on with you? No, never mind. We were talking about something serious. We can do this later. Do what later? I guess it's never a good time. For what? Chet, what is going on? Okay, Cal, there's this way you talk about Frank. There's a way you look at Frank. There's a way you are when you're with Frank. Tell me I'm wrong. Look, Cal, you're my best friend. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to stop feeling something. I just can't watch you feel it anymore. So what, that's it? We're just gonna break up? I think we already did. We're just the last ones to know. So Stacy's got goons. With guns. Goons pretending to be part of her family. At least we don't have the weirdest family. She's hiding something. I just need to figure out what her game is. Evil. Frank, she's hiding evil. I mean, what's that hard to understand? She did save our lives. You ever think that running over the tall man wasn't an accident? I mean, she could have set up the whole thing. I'll dig into it. Maybe we should stop digging. Why do you want to stop now? You want to let somebody else find the piece that you lost? <sighs> we destroy it. <laughs> what? We get it back, and we destroy it. George said that they broke it in the place that they found it. He thinks that they can destroy it there, too, if they have to. These are ley lines. They're lines of energy, and they run across the entire world. And the places where they meet have some sort of mystic power. Three lines intersect right here. That's Demon's Paw. Right. But it's under Demon's Paw, which means it's underground. The mine's been sealed, Joe. So? Maybe there's another way in. You're not going to Demon's Paw. We don't even have the piece. We're gonna get it back, Frank. And we're gonna destroy it. What if we can use it? What if we can use it to see Mom? 
It won't be her. How could it be? And what if we did? She would just ask us why we didn't destroy the one thing that she wanted to destroy. Well, none of this matters anymore. Because we don't know where it is, and if we did find it, we're not just gonna throw it away. My mom died too, Frank! I'm just as angry as you are! Just as scared as you are! So stop pretending like this matters more to you, and I'm just a little brother who follows you around! I can't talk to you right now. Stacy. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I really need to talk to you. Can you meet me? Uh, yeah, sure. Where? Thanks for meeting me. Mm hmm. Did you order anything? No, I'm not hungry. Well, can I still use your employee discount? Who are you, Stacy? What do you mean? I mean, you lie, you sneak around, and don't even get me started on your aunt and uncle. You've been spying on me, Frank? <sighs> Y'all ready to order? Uh, cheeseburger and milk, please. Very good. Same for you, Frank? No, I'm good. Frank, I think she's buying. I don't like to owe people. Okay. I called you because, um, Callie, who clearly has a thing for you, thinks that there's something up with me. And since you clearly have a thing for her, I figured you'd probably believe her, and I thought we should talk. Okay. Start with the tall guy. Who is he, and why'd you run him down? That was an accident. It should be a lot easier to believe if you didn't have gun-toting relatives that you like to boss around. You shouldn't assume things about me, Frank. Then tell me who you are, or I walk. My name is Anastasia Nabokov. My father was Victor Nabokov. <laughs> now, this is insane. I'm sorry, but yeah, you... you look really sorry. So what, you're part of the circle? You're here for the eye? I am not a part of the circle. I never was, and I never will be. Growing up, my father told me all about the eye, its power, its history. It was also beautiful and important. Right up until he was killed for it. You think the circle murdered your father? I think whoever killed your mother probably got to my father, too. Guess we have more in common than you thought. Wait, why didn't you tell me earlier? When I first came to Bridgeport, I didn't know if I could trust you. If you're grandmother had made you part of the circle, but now... Now that we caught you, you decide to open up. You see how that's a little convenient. Frank, I was scared. How about your aunt and uncle? Are they scared, too? They're bodyguards. My father hired them before he died. You can't seriously expect me to believe you. I don't expect you to do anything but understand me. You're making that really hard to do. I never knew my father, Frank. Not the way you knew your mother. He sent me to boarding school when I was a toddler. He hid me away for my own protection. But then he died before I could get to know him. So you're here for revenge? I'm here because if I don't fight for my father's memory, then I have nothing left. You think my grandmother and Miss Khan had anything to do with our parents getting hurt? 
I can't know for sure, but it had to be someone involved with the circle, someone who wanted the eye. And you plan on confronting them yourself? I plan on exposing them, just like your mother did. It's a lot harder to do than it looks. Then help me, Frank. Help me bring our parents' killers to justice. Look, you're asking me for a lot, Stacy. When you've lost as much as we have, Sometimes you have to take big risks. you long enough. Where have you been? I was in the middle of something when you called, Joe. I do have a life, you know. Okay, fine. Look, forget what I said earlier. I need the eye. Where is it? Are you sure it's safe to tell you? No one's, like, torturing you? Do I look like I'm being tortured, Biff? No. But why do you want it? I want to destroy it. You hid it in the school? Yes, but somewhere nobody will look. In the boiler room. Boiler room? How is that safe? Just wait. See? Who's gonna look down here? You couldn't have picked a cleaner spot? You want clean or you want safe? Let's figure out how to get rid of this thing for good. Hey, Chet. Be right with you, sir. I don't need to order anything. You okay? No, I'm not. Kelly and I broke up. Don't you need to ask why? Uh, why? What happened? You did. Hey, guys. Strawberry malt, son. And hurry. We're all complaint to the manager. How about a float on the house? Just go pick out your favorite soda. Ooh, lucky day. Chet, I didn't do anything. And I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying you happened. And I couldn't watch it anymore. You broke up with her? Are you surprised? No, I'm not anything. I'm friends with both of you. <laughs> I almost... I want you to be a jerk about this. Root beer. Why reinvent the wheel? What's going on? Nothing. Honestly, not sure what I came here to say. Okay. Chop, chop. Okay. So, how are you planning on destroying this thing? It's in my great-grandpa's journal. The only place the eye can be broken or reforged is in the chamber of the eye where we discovered it. I think that it's the only place it can be destroyed as well. The way I figure it, it has to be out by Demon's Paw. Okay, so how do we find it? It has something to do with ley lines. What lines? Ley lines. They're connected by magical energy. This gets weirder by the minute. That's not a bad thing, by the way. He said that the chamber of the eye is underground. It'd be nice if he told us how to get down to it. Well, they found it while they were mining, so 
It could be in what's left of the old mines. They were sealed like a million years ago. Nobody even knows where they are anymore. Well, my piece helped me at the carnival. And JB's piece helped him win at cards, so maybe it can help us find the spot. You're saying you want to destroy it, and now you want to use it? Do you have a better plan? This may take more than luck. It's not just luck. It gives you, like, I don't know, insight. Intuition. Well, how are we going to get underground? Intuition away. Maybe we'll find the way once we get out there. Let's get going. You're not going to take time to prepare for this, are you? I've got some stuff in my locker. Maybe it'll help us not die. Francis, I was hoping I'd see you today. It's easier to worry about you when you're in the room. Thank you, Sonia. We'll pick that up tomorrow. What can I do for you? I have some questions about the I and the other families. All right. What did you want to know? You'd mentioned the Khans and the Nabokovs. Where are the Nabokovs? Well, Victor Nabokov was the head of the family, my counterpart. But I learned recently that he died. How did he die? Well, I didn't get much information. Apparently natural causes. He was a very private man. And you, you believe them to be natural causes? I'm not sure if I believe it. So it is possible that someone had him killed? You can't wield the sort of power our families do without gaining some enemies along the way. I'm sure Victor had his. But it had to be someone who knew about the eye. Hmm. And that same someone may still be trying to get his hands on the eye. Do you think Mrs. Khan had him killed? She might have. Okay, how about you, Grandma? Did you kill him? Oh, Francis. Oh, darling. Of course not. I'm not a murderer. Why do you imagine that... I have been looking for my father's piece of the eye with such ferocity lately. Because ever since I heard they found that piece on the boat, I've been thinking about my successor. Which would have been Mom, right? Yes, of course. But now that she's gone, the legacy of the eye will fall to you, Francis. Oh, what, what, what? Why did you come here today? I mean, surely not just ask me about the Nabokovs. No, I just, I came to connect the dots. Right now, it feels like I'm the only one who is. Sorry, Grandma. We gotta hurry, Hardy. We're losing light. No rush. I think it's that way. No, it's that way. Biff, I have an excellent sense of direction. Hardy, I've lived my entire life from Bridgeport. It's not that way. It's there. It can't be there. We just came from there. No, we came from there, remember? Hold this. It's not a compass. I know. But it's pulling me that way. Come on, it's working! Jesse, is Biff here? No, why? She was supposed to be home hours ago. We're almost there! How do you know? I don't know how, I know, I just know! I got a bad feeling about this, Hardy. What's here? I don't know. It just stopped. It's late. And it's dark. Just two more minutes. Ah! 